Hello there. Welcome to Jamie Graphics. My name is David Femi James, and I'm gonna be tutoring you on this video on how to design this flyer. And um, for my resources, I'm going to be using this image, this clock image, also this glitter image, my logo, this woman here, and um, some flare and an abstract city background. So um, stay with me while for the next few minutes while I guide you on this video on how to design the flyer. So firstly, I'm going to be creating um, a um, square shape. So I'll click on the rectangle and hold on control while I draw. So I'll press on letter P to centralize this to my page. So these are the text. I've texted them out so as not to take much longer time in texting them out on this video. So I already have my text out. So I would like to break it. After breaking it, um, then I'll start arranging my elements into my design. So first I'll be copying the logo and then going back to my corridor, I would like to paste. So I'll reduce this to the size I want, bring it up to the left angle and then I'm using a guide so as to guide me to for the alignment of every of my element on this design. So I think that guide is okay. So I'll take the name of the organization or be the whatsoever and then I'd like to change the font size to 12. Let's say I'll bolden this. I also like to make this 10. So uh, the font I will be using is uh, for these two texts is TW cent and um, by default every computer has this font so you could choose any font of your choice but for for this design I would like to use TW cent you could use Futura you could use whatsoever font font style but I would like to use TW cent so I'll use my shape tool to spread this present so that it's um, kind of a little bit different and spread it out Nevertheless, for the main text that has the most hierarchy on our design, I would not like to affect it for now. So I would just like to make it bold and then just give it all the space that it may require on our design. But for now, I'm not giving it effect. So I want to rearrange all of these texts that will be below first, then before I'll give our most hierarchy text the the effects so i'll be changing for the primary font i'll be using for this design it to be tw cent mt by default every computer has this font so i would like to continue rearranging this so nevertheless alignment to our design is most important it's very important so for this design most of the alignment will be um by left align left align left Sorry, I said align left multiple times. So I would like to keep rearranging every one of these, every one of these texts. So this I'll make it. Nevertheless, bold. I would like to make the name alone bold. So book is no bold, but for this I would like to make it bold. So I'll align this, align left. Very good. So I'll bring this up into, and I think that should be good. So for the name, I like to make it bold. Let me bring it into our design first, our workspace. So, like I said, for the primary fonts I'll be using, they'll all be TW Saint. Follow us on. So for this, I'll move it up a little, uh, and then. So for the more information, I will still like to make this. Um, let's say TW cent my primary font, and then make it um ten point. No, let's say twelve, and then make it bold. So I'll adjust this and then I would like to distribute it to have equal spacing in between because it's an already broken text. 
so align and distribute and then i'll say align center horizontally so this is align center horizontal i like to zoom in and then um, reapply this effect so that you have a look at it so i'll zoom this in and then align center horizontally so there we go so i think i made a mistake here so i'm correcting the k to t for more information contact yes that's that is okay so i would like to bring this into our workspace and then zoom in so i'm uh, selecting this i like to bring it back to 10 it's a little bit bigger than what i expected so i'll bring this down with just one move and then control repeat i'll repeat that for the upper text nevertheless i like to bring the rest of this down and then align left this also i like to bring it down and then i also like to bring this one down a little so i think um now for now the text have been arranged properly just the way i want so for this i would like to give it more um proximity by creating a rectangle too so i would like to bring this out so i'll give it um a radius that's corner radius of 40 milliliters and then 40 milliliters so i'm only applying this for the right side of my image sorry of my rectangle so i would like to align this left very good so I'll move this text in a little since we already have a box representing that's a rectangle representing it nevertheless the remaining of this text i'll apply them later but i'd like to i like us to effect um that's our main um the main text of highest hierarchy so i'll be using advert font for the first text that's for special and night i'll be using advert font but I'll, you could use copper black that's um, a default font for our computer but um, for this for the sake of this design i'll be using this font so for crossover i would like to use uniform regular i think most computers have this font but if you don't have it you could go over to the internet and search on the fonts website uniform bold so nevertheless i would like to move this over up a little so that i could increase the size so the the topic the topic is special crossover night so this should be um what should capture your your interest in what this design is all about so it's, it's it has to be big and bold so i would like to group the whole of this text group as i've grouped it i'll go back to our resources and copy this orange background that's this orange gradient background and then paste it here so the description the link for the resources of this video will be in the description down below so you could go over to the link and then download um, every resources that have been used for this video so by clipping this into the text i'll make it Gaussian blur so i'll be giving it the radius of uh, let's say 10 or 19 19 will be too much so i'll be reducing it to 10 110 oh yes that is good so preview and on preview and say okay so i'll then click out nevertheless i'll go over our resources copy this glitter this purple glitter and then paste it on our workspace paste so the reason why i'm copying this i would like to have i would like the text to have uh, a glitter effect that's on the on our design so maximizing this 
i'll give you the transparency of um a higher transparency let's say let's say of um, 90 or 92 92 should do so and then i'll say okay so i like to move this so that i show you the difference of how it looks like you will notice the c alone without having the glitter it's different from the r so i'm bringing this back in maximizing it and say okay so as you can see the design is beginning to approach more it's beginning to come out clearly so right now i will go over and can copy our building the abstract building you could go over on google or you could still go to the description and then download the resources for this video but you could also get this image on google by um typing abstract building and then it's um, abstract building and then it brings out a lot of whole options for you so for this rectangle i'm making it a power clip um, so that i could paste the building i just copied over here so i'll say paste so i would like to i'll bring this up after bringing this up um it's kind of making my computer slow so i'll make it um bitmaps convert it to bitmaps so that will be okay then i'll give it a transparency of um let's say a transparency of 70 percent and then say okay so there we go i like to maximize this to take a full of the design so i'll say okay so nevertheless it's beginning to come out our design is beginning to come out beautifully so right now i'll be going over to copy the flare that's the lens flare and then go into our text and then paste it here so this lens flare i'll adjust it and bring it up close to the r the r for over so that's where i'll be leaving it so i'll say okay so there we go it's beginning to create but it's kind of too much so i'll be bringing it out so as not to have much effect so there we go go over to our resources and then copy this clock image um it's like a timer so i'm bringing it um into our design so you know it's very necessary for every design to have an image it's like more like the principle of design you need an image to further describe what that text or whatever the information is trying to portray so nevertheless i like to increase it a little and then go back to my resources and then copy the the subject of for this design so i'll go into my design power clip and then paste hard there i think the flare for this image is kind of making my corridor a little bit slower so pasting her here she's big so i like to reduce her and then bring her over to the bottom right angle so i would like to move her a little bit up a little so that she be more of expression so i like to reduce the clock it's kind of bigger of a bigger ratio to all ranging so i think that should do so nevertheless um, for the date and time um i would like to yet effect the date and time into our design so i'll be copying the let's hold on on the date and time i'll be copying on the second flare the one that is not much brighter and then bring it up into our design so the flare it's like it's also reflecting on the clock so it will be like it's reflecting on the clock also so you could go over on the internet and download the flare or you could still go to resources for this video and get the lens flare for it so for the date and time um i would like you to watch on how i will be using combinations of fonts and fonts on it so like i said my primary font tw cent i would like to make it bold 
for the Friday and then uh, for the 31st it's more of more caption to our design because it's a crossover night so 31st of December so you, it captures your your eyes 31st captures your eyes first so I'm trying to figure out a font that will fit in nicely for this 31st um, let's see let's scroll down uh, no matching font yet I would love to use um, Canon no no definitely um, I think none of this font is okay for me so I would like to just search in a regular font I know um, Slenko black very good so Slenko black is a bold one so I would like to use this but you could also find a qualifying font for um, the 31st and I hope yours will be better than mine is so nevertheless sorry I'll be making this 12 points and then there we go so I would like to select every of the date adjust it and then make it more bigger so for the 10 p.m. for us to have a contract on our design I'll be creating um, a rectangle and then filling it red so that we have more contract in the design so I'll be bringing this here then zoom in so I'll be using Slenko as a font for 10 p.m. so I would like to adjust the red drag it down a little I'll zoom in and then I don't want it to be too much so I think I'll make it that way so for the 10 p.m. I'll be making it white so that it comes out clearly on the red color background so nevertheless I think we're almost done with our design what we are left with is um, the name of our the subject of this um, design so Mrs. Pastor Mrs. will be TW Cent also this one will be TW Cent bold so TW Cent is kind of my favorite font on this um, on, on Corridor because because it um, is an is a serif font sorry it's an serif font so I'll be bringing this here so I was initially thinking of creating a little bit transparent background with this rectangle but I think um, the text on her clothes is okay but on yours you may have to create it it depends on the color of the clothes your subject is wearing or the color of the background where the text will be so I'll be giving it outline so that it comes out that it separates itself from the the background so I'll adjust it here so that we have a little bit of margin so nevertheless here is our design so I'm power clipping inside just so I could create a little bit of um, let's say a little bit of so that our design doesn't fully be white totally so I think there we go that should be okay and then I'll move it up a little no, I think I would like to make it this way so I'll say F4 so this is the full preview so I think we are done with our design so give us a like button and then subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this so see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe